respect it cause this is West Texas Woo! What a season it's been for the 2019 Wall Hawks but when the dust settled in Graham on Friday night it was Pilot Point's big plays down the stretch that Wall just did not have an answer for as a Hawks season ends with a 26-7 loss in the regional semifinals. Well, hello and welcome to the Cover 1 Studios. I'm Manny Diaz. Despite the loss, I tell you what, there were plenty of bright spots from this ball game. Coming up, we're going to hear from the old ball coach, Houston Guy, as he talks about how this one finished, this amazing senior class, and of course, why there are plenty of big playoff runs still in Wall's future. First things first, how about those chip hole highlights? Mason Brooks might be done for the season, but there he is, there for his team, hanging with Hawks new signal caller Drew Morrison as the kids from East Tom Green County take on Jacob Pitts in the Pilot Point Bearcats. Opening Pilot Point drive, the Cats strike first, a little screen action to Max Holler, and this kid is off to the races for the 53-yard touchdown. Cats would go for two and get it, and it's 8-0 just like that. Next wall drive, here come the Hawks. Pitch to Cinch Dickey, and look at this kid go for a big gain to the pilot point 37. A few plays later, handoff to the sophomore, Dominic Garcia, who rumbles his way to a wall first down. Gotta love what this kid is bringing to the table. Very next play, you can say the fake went hard here as pilot point bites on the handoff just before Morrison pitches to Cinch Dickey for the seven yard touchdown to make it 8-7 pilot point. Little more than two minutes to go in the opening frame. The kid that's in on every team's scouting report, Chase Rios, the junior back, bringing off a nice 32-yard gain. Second quarter now, Hawks in pilot point territory and going forward on fourth and one, but stopped at the line of scrimmage, turnover on downs. About two to go in the half now. Watch this throw as Jacob Pitts launches it downfield. Aiden Cox there to make the grab. If anything, gotta appreciate the arm strength. Very next play, handoff to Javon Bruce, scores a few blocks, but once he hit the edge, oh, he gone for the 21-yard touchdown. Two-point try good, giving Pilot Point the 16-7 lead. Ensuing Hawks drive, handoff to Dominic Garcia, and the chain gang is off to the races after this one, getting loose for a nice game. Very next play, the Hawks go into the air. Morrison putting it in the neighborhood of Chase Rios and Connor Deersky, but picked off with less than 20 seconds left in the half. Pilot Point would head to the break up 16-7. To the third, the Bearcats looking for more. Jacob Pitts already with a big throw in the first half, directing traffic here, hooking up with Jabari Anderson, who sneaks past a few Hawks on his way to the end zone for the 39-yard touchdown to make it 23-7 Pilot Point. Next wall drive, the Hawks looking to answer, but on fourth and two, Chase Rios stuck. Wall just could not catch a break. Pilot Point would tack on a field goal down the stretch as they knock off the number one team in Class 3A Division I, 26-7. The Hawks' ground attack racked up 230 yards rushing, but in the end, it was those crucial stops on fourth down when it mattered the most that was the difference maker in this one. Meanwhile, Pilot Point QB1 Jacob Pitts finished 10 of 14 for 187 yards passing and two touchdowns. His throws were clutch, no doubt. After the game, Wall head coach Houston Guy talked about this special senior class and why big playoff runs are still in Wall's future. Uh, from the very first day, they've been great leaders. You know, they've had a lot of adversity. They've had a lot of uh, things go wrong with this team, and they, they never missed a beat. They stepped up. We had, you know, offensive guys playing defense, defensive guys having to come over and play offense, and, and they didn't they didn't miss a beat. You know, they didn't miss practices. They the seniors just they're, they're amazing. They were great leaders. Uh, you hate to see it in you know like it did tonight. But not only is it tough if you're just a quarterback, it's super tough if you're the Mike linebacker. You know, you never get a chance to not get hit. You're always getting you're always getting a, you got a target on your back nearly every play so uh, for him to come in and run the offense like he did and, and, and really we, he was he did an outstanding job he hadn't taken a snap since the middle of his sophomore year about the fourth ball game of his sophomore year and for him to come in and to run it like he did and I, we're very 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 pleased you know it, it bodes well for for next year it was a little difficult at first but once I got behind that line and they're, they're a great group and I got a lot of confidence built up in the first couple games and kind of helped once we got to this point we got you know four of our five linemen back. Uh, we got our fullback back. We'll have the two running backs that are back. Our quarterback are back. We'll have a core 
unit that's going to be very solid on offense. You know, we'll have to replace some key guys for, for sure. Uh, our two running backs that, that are graduating tonight and then uh, uh, some key guys defensively that have been just stem winders for us. We'll have to replace those guys. But this team is going to be all right. Well, it's time for our Newland ERA and Company play of the game. Pilot points Jacob Pitts with some big time plays, especially this one to Jabari Anderson in the third quarter, who makes the grab and just takes it in for the 39 yard touchdown. Just a few too many weapons for the Hawks to handle this one, as the touchdown connection is good for this week's Newland ERA and Company play of the game. Well, not only were the 2019 Wallhawks able to earn a number one ranking in Texas, but despite all the injuries down the stretch, the Hawks just never flinched. The ability to overcome adversity from week to week, I tell you what, is truly something. While most teams would have folded, these Hawks kept grinding. As for this defense, well, it'll be something to remember. Up until the area round of the playoffs, no team had been able to score more than 14 points on them. Meanwhile, hats off to the senior class who can continued the legacy in capturing the program's ninth straight district title. Winning is no doubt something that's expected from the Wallhawks, but what makes this team unique and always one to watch is how year in and year out they're always a true contender for a state title. All that's left for the Hawks now is to win it all. Something the Houston guy in this program inches closer and closer to every season. The question now is which class will be the first to make history. Well, it wasn't the ending we all had in mind for Houston Guy and the Wall Hawks, but nonetheless, what a great run from this team despite all the injuries sustained down the stretch. I tell you, it's been fun, it's been real uh, hanging out with these Wall Hawks uh, from week to week during this 2019 season. Have no doubt in my mind that uh, they'll be back and better than ever in 2020. Well, for the last time this season, we can't say goodbye without those Bug Express sounds of the game from the send-off to when the final horn blew, when this one finished in Graham, this wall community stood tall with these hawks. For the San Angelo Live and Cover One crew, I'm Manny Diaz. God bless and congrats to the Wall Hawks on a great 2019 season.